got, Greg? All right, Rick, here's what's going on in the world of hip-hop, man. So, let me give everybody up to speed with this whole Nipsey Hussle situation, because, you know, for some people, we're the only people you get your news from. So, the, the killer is in custody. Uh, the girl who's driving the car has been let go. They may bring her back they in let later. Her go? Yeah, you know, they, they, they talk to her, and they're like, hey, you know, we'll, we might be talking to you again soon. Because she's like, I don't really know the dude like that. I was just give him a ride. You know, but that was... That she was... didn't hear none of the gunshots? Like, none of that? Probably not. She might have been listening to loud rap music. Who knows? But at the end of the day, the That's messed up... Crap, she had to drive him over there. Drive him over there, and she had to drive him away. She's acting like she didn't know nothing. And then they're going to take him to a mental house. That's up to now, now the conspiracy stuff starting to kick in. Right. Yeah, it, 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 it's crazy. But, you know, there's still time for all of the rest of this stuff to unfold. Now, um, for those who don't know what his motives were, I'm talking about Nipsey Hussle, but going up there without a security, he was going up there to run an errand for a friend. He had a friend that was doing like 20 years, and he was just getting out, and he wanted to make sure he had a whole bunch of fresh clothes. So when he went to go see his family, you know, he He don't... was late. He was lacing his partner. Yeah, man. So he didn't call the security detail before he left, and he just ran out there, so... That's why he was so open and exposed. Yeah, his security's went. sick right now. I saw something the security put up yesterday. He he retired from the yeah, whole game. Yeah, He's like, I'm guard, good. Yeah, his security guy's like, hey, man, you know... You know, thank you for everything you showed me. You know, you taught me. But yeah, he's retired from being a security guard for anybody from here on out. But wow. you know, I mean, but it wasn't his fault. I mean, Nip uh, was supposed to call him and just didn't, you know, just say, yeah. "I'm just gonna run up here right quick, no but big he, deal." But you know what, Rick? He should be allowed to go to his shop in a shopping center that he owns, and him and his family own more than half of the shopping center. He should be allowed to go there in his own neighborhood where he came up in and go to a store and, and lace his friend without having to call security. And that's right. how it should work. And the crazy thing is the friend who got out of jail, well, he was one of the other two people that got shot. Oh. You know, but he's okay. But it's just bad. Now, it would be really bad. You know, sometimes when you get out on probation and they'd be like, hey, you can't hang around, you know, known felons or whatever or put yourself in a situation. You know, not saying that that's a case right now, right, but right, like right. I've seen people who violated for dumber things. Right, right, you right. You know, so hopefully he's okay. Uh, moving on. Let's talk about uh, Freak Nick. It's coming back. Hey. And uh, Luke wants to make it a family friendly Freak, freak Nick affair. Um, <laughs> Can you even say that in the same sentence? Change Luke? the name to Peak Nick. <laughs> Please do. Um, and there's going to be a whole bunch of performers, man. Our very own The Brat's gonna be rocking out there, hey. man. Uncle Luke's gonna be there. And, you know, this ain't the same Luke that was hanging out with, like, two live crew back in the day. You know, he's more of, like, a, you know, a politician and a stupid businessman at this point in the game. He's coaching Little League football, so maybe there might be, like, a little a Freak Nick flag football game. Right. You never know. Where the flags hanging from? <laughs> nipples. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Speaking of nipples, Amber Rose, she posted yesterday that she is expecting a baby Yay. with her longtime boyfriend. And by long time, I mean, like, you know, 11 months. Um, I, you know, I'm happy for them because she has, like, you know, kind of been in multiple relationships between point A and point B. And they seem to really like each other. So much he got his hair like hers. Oh, and then really? he already have his hair like hers, crack. I don't even know. I never really knew who that guy was prior to them getting together. I don't be following people like that. I'm a whole man. I'm so excited for Amber. She has a beautiful son named Sebastian by Wiz Khalifa. And um, her son is actually the same exact age as Marley. Yeah. And uh, now she's expecting Oreo her second. Isn't that those the Those are so cutest, well done. Rick? Yeah. Love those. It's so cute with Wiz Khalifa and his, um, their son, Sebastian. But now she's expecting her second child. And, and did she say it was a boy? That's what Gary said. I think I think she announced that it's a boy. Yeah. Um, but I'm super excited for her. I hope yeah, she it, has an it amazing is definitely pregnancy. a boy. And uh, it also went on to say that Sebastian's so happy to be a big brother. Aww. Last little story I got for you before I run out of here. Uh, Molly Maul, you know him from uh, Love & Hip Hop LA. Mm -hmm. uh, there was rumors going around that he was arrested for exotic animal and human trafficking. Half that story is awesome. Like, if you're trafficking animals, like, yo, like, you know, that's a different type of trapping. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yo, what you want, a little wolf? You know, like, but that's not cool. Nah, well, come to find out that he, he, he released a statement. It's like, hey, I was not arrested for human and animal trafficking. People be getting those animals and they let them go and then they mess up the ecosystem. Yeah, that's not cool. That's why they have uh, down in the Everglades all of those pythons and stuff. And they now they got a program where they pay people to catch those snakes or whatever, because those pythons are everywhere in the Everglades. And yeah. they're messing up the whole, you know, ecosystem. It can't they go bad. Everything. It can't go bad. I just want, like, four kangaroos. I mean, pit bulls are enough. Oh, why do we need to go that much further? I would like to have a llama. Yeah, because llamas We got a Gary. Problems. Why we need a llama? Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Always representing for the culture.